hello viewers welcome you all to this video and in this video we are going to discuss one of the hot topics of the IT industry AWS solution architect examination is one of the most hot examination in this AWS certification landscape and it's one of the most popular exam so in this video I'm going to teach you or I'm going to guide you how to crack this exam easily right if you look into the exam details it's again second level complexity all the associate level exams uh, developer associate solution architect associate and sysops administrator associate will be falling under second level complexity and third level is professional level and the foundation level is practitioner so this is an intermediate level certificate and it's recommended for anyone with prior clones uh, cloud hands-on experience or even if you don't have a real industrial experience at least take um, hands-on on your own and then work on your own application and get some cloud uh, prayer experience and go for the ex examination minimum preparation time three to six months yes even if you already have cloud hands-on experience and even if you already have industrial experience you still need to prepare for the exam because the exam preparation is slightly different from the industrial experience so maybe uh, those people may need two months or one month of time but what i recommend is minimum take three months exam preparation if you have prior experience or if you don't have prior experience take a little more time and you can go up to six or even more than that then majority of scenario based questions i'm going to cover some of the sample questions in the upcoming slide so we'll go on to the next one an exam cost is 150 dollars us dollars or in indian uh, price, uh, indian money it is eleven thousand. total questions of okay 65 questions and total time is 130 so it looks like you will be, you will be given two minutes per questions so um unless you prepare well this two minutes won't be sufficient i mean due to the nature of questions so let's see why i'm telling this point in the upcoming slides and minimum pass percentage is 72 percentage and one good thing is aws doesn't demotivate you if you go for your guesses so aws still recommend people who go for guesses and then they don't give negative mark for wrong answers right i hope the exam details are clear let's quickly jump into the sample questions sample question one so uh, i have taken these questions uh, especially from aws uh, own website and these are some of some of the sample questions and this is how it looks um, let me just quickly read off the question a company currently stores on-premises data and then they want to shift the data into s3 with a minimum latency and frequently access data to be cached see if you look at the way i have re read this question i have quickly looked for the key points on-premises okay to cloud and then they want to shift that to s3 especially and then with minimum latency and to be caching the frequently accessed data so these are the key points and then you have to look for the options and you have to check which which option fits all these four points ftp doesn't uh, fit under this and then uh, if you look into the storage gateway and data sync data sync is especially to uh, accelerate the data uh, movement so in that way it, it could reduce the latency but data sync doesn't give you any option for the caching met met method so the caching is provided by storage gateway volume gateway and cached volume mode so b is the right answer and um, the, the way how you have to crack the questions is you have to look for all the uh, conditions that fit into the option so see some of the options could be fit, fitting you for one or two conditions but you have to look for all the criterias sample question two a company uses reserved instance to run its daily processing workload the nightly job takes right so night job takes seven hours to ten hours that's the key point so it's not a continuous job okay so the job gets terminated maximum after ten hours and the anticipated temporary increase in demand so okay so that's again temporary temporary is the keyword and 
will cause the job to run over that limit okay so capacity of the current resources right so and next important point is cannot be interrupted before completion so that's a critical job and that cannot be interrupted and they want this in a cost effective mode right so normally people tend to go for the spot instances if they look for the cost effective but here you can't go for the spot instance because they have clearly mentioned that it cannot be interrupted so because spot instance can get interrupted and option c gets nullified here then the next uh, if you look into the better option then second ec2 reservation for additional instances this will not again fit into this because this is a reservation but our load is a temporary increase a temporary spike so you can't always reserve a instance for this temporary spike and then if you look into d uh, instance size increase this is this doesn't speak about the instance size increase but we have to um, okay we have to handle the additional load without interruption to the existing one so the better option would be deploy on demand instances during periods of high demand so on demand as you know um, they cannot be interrupted but they can be spun whenever it is needed okay so that costs you lesser than the reserved instances so the better option would be on demand so this is how they confuse you uh, unless you be clear with the concepts you might get you might get uh, deviated so sample question three uh, let's quickly complete this and then let's move on to the other details uh, on an analytics company is planning to offer a site analytics and then uh, okay so they want to run a javascript okay over the site and to that makes authenticated get request to s3 bucket so in order to run this type of scripting over this you uh, versioning will not help you and then uh, it doesn't uh, speak about signed URLs. signed urls is especially for sharing the contents and then it's not it's also not about the bucket policy because bucket policy is again uh, uh, speaks about the authorization part so the right answer would be cross origin resource sharing so cause cause is the right answer so you need to be clear with all the concepts with respect to s3 unless you unless you be clear with the concepts you will not be able to clear this question so you just need to look for the keywords in the question and if you it look into each and everything and that comes with the practice so let's move on to the next slide coverage and key topics so this is exam blueprint design resilient architecture design high performance architecture design secure and uh, secure applications and architecture design cost optimized architecture so it's all about designing the architecture and that's how questions are going to be so if you look into the previous slides uh, you must be able to see um, in, i think in one slide we spoke about okay i think in one slide we spoke about uh, uninterrupted architecture that is high availability architecture okay Resi resilient architecture and in the next slide we uh, spoke about authentication and then the course okay cause sharing and um, and in another one we i think spoke about the caching mechanism that's high performance architecture so at the end all the questions would be ending in some way or other it's about designing the architecture so that's how the questions are going to be uh, and when it comes to key services i'm not going to confine you into a small bucket and i'm not going to ask you to confine you within this set of services but these are the key services <coughs> sorry <coughs> if you look into the key services on compute ec2 then serverless ser services like lambda and then alexa also bit of alexa you you, you may not be as uh, you may not be asked to be expertised in alexa but you need to know at least bits of alexa alexa again that works with lambda and serverless architecture right and also some of the concepts like placement group and then uh, how well the architecture should be distributed or how to design the resilient architecture for example uh, you need to understand the concept of region availability zone and uh, you should be in a position to say that if you if one availability uh, zone goes down 
how to design architecture in such a way that the other one picks up the messages uh, without any data loss etc so that is expected and then uh, if you move on to the storage part uh, i have actually added uh, okay sorry database if you look into the database it speaks more about rds aurora elastic cache dynamo db yes dynamo db to some extent but dynamo db is not the foremost important one for this particular exam yeah, dynamo db is one of the most important topic for the developer associate but that's not the most important topic for this uh, solution architect exam and most of the questions could uh, revolve around this aurora and uh, so aurora also has this global concepts and uh, it speaks about how to um, design the aurora database etc and then caching strategies then storage uh, s3 is uh, as i have mentioned um, you need you must know s3 in and out elastic block storage and elastic file storage and security iam advanced level so when i say iam advanced level it also uh, consider some some of the advanced topics like single sign on then uh, resource access manager etc and uh, then cognito kms encryption types you can't find any exam without the encryption types in, you can find questions on this encryption in all the exams especially encryption with s3 uh, that's a combo which you can uh, find out in almost in all the exams right then network network and architecture is the backbone of this exam when i say network you must know all the topics that comes under network uh, network and networking components like um, vpc under vpc you have many concepts like direct connect bastion uh, vpn endpoints etc and then you must know the architectural patterns load balancers and then you should know when you should go for the application load balancer when you should go for the network load balancer or the classic load balancer then you can definitely expect some questions on this amazon uh, fsx for windows and luster right route 53 definitely you can find some questions on route 53 uh, and especially on the routing policies you should know the difference between geographical and then the latency based uh, routing policies etc okay so that's how um, the exam coverage would be i hope i have covered some of the fair points then if you look into the materials uh, so i have suggested two paid materials one is stephen marak and another one is a cloud guru a cloud guru is always my favorite uh, my personal recommendation my favorite course it's it's paid and uh, the subscription is bit expensive than all the other courses if you visit their site they, you will get to know in indian money the subscription could cost you uh, more than 20000 per year and stephen mark course yes you can get it cheap at rupees 385 and this is one of the excellent uh, course in the A aws landscape uh, not to underrate but it covers almost everything and stephen mark keeps the course updated most of the time apart from that other people prefer uh, courses like Neil, De Neil Davis, John Boone, so also, but these two are my uh, personal suggestions. And then YouTube course, yes, I have given you a YouTube course for people who doesn't want to spend money on this uh, paid courses. You can definitely go for the YouTube courses, All right? And then on the exam uh, practice materials my personal recommendation again is john bunso but stephen mark is again one of the most sold examination um, john bunso exam when it comes to practice exams john bunso exam is the best among all the uh, authors you can find variety of questions and all all the levels of complexity in john bunso's exam so it's definitely worth buying john bunso's exam so please go for that and Stephen Mark exam again covers more on the EC, EC2 side and this also and this exam also give you very good flavor and key to success repeat the practice exam multiple times I have already mentioned this until you get 90 percentage in all your exams keep repeating them so that's the only way you can success, succeed this exams right I hope I have covered almost most of the points 
please feel free to reach me out if you need any other points apart from this thank you so much stay connected please subscribe to the channel meet you all in the next video thank you so much